What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing a full look using all of the brand new products from e.l.f. You guys know if you watch my channel, I absolutely love e.l.f. They're one of my absolute favorite drugstore brands and they just launched a bunch of new stuff so I have everything to share with you guys today. Some of this stuff I have already tried and it is so, so good. So I'm so excited to just do a look and share everything with you guys today. They sent me out their new Electric Mood collection. These are some of the items in it a few weeks back and I got to test them and they're so, so good. They also have new putty bronzers and a new putty primer. So we we have a bunch of stuff. I have like brushes and stuff here too that we can test out together. I have not tried the brushes yet. I'm super stoked. I want to thank Elf for partnering with me and sending me out this stuff a few weeks early so I could test it for you guys and be able to do this video to show you guys how everything works. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love drugstore makeup. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so up first we're going to start with the new putty primer. So Elf launched this. This is the Acne fighting putty primer. So now they have, I think four because they have the original poreless putty primer, which this is pink. You guys have seen me use this like 7 million times. I really, really like this primer, but the new acne fighting one is green, which I feel like that's a good color because obviously, you know, it helps to reduce redness and stuff. And then they have a Lumi one and the matte one. I've always been very loyal to the original, just the poreless putty primer. And I'm going to do them side by side on my face to show you guys the difference. So with the new acne fighting putty primer, this has salicylic acid in it, which is great if you have acne prone skin like I do. So it'll help to prime the skin while also fighting acne, which I love. I do find with this one though, it's a little bit less blurring of the skin than the OG is, but you definitely still do get that blur, especially when you apply it how I'm applying it, which is like a tapping motion to the skin, like pressing it into the skin, it does help to blur. So I'm gonna go in with the original on this side just to show you guys the difference. And you guys will see obviously the original is more like a pinky white tone where the acne fighting one is green. So if you have a lot of redness in your skin, it could be a really good option for you. So that is the OG one. I think it blurs a little bit more, but let me know what you guys think like side by side, which one you like better. But definitely like this new addition, especially if you're breakout prone, acne prone, I think this is awesome. And I actually purchased this when they first came out with it and then Elf was kind enough to send me one as well. So I'd love to give this away to one of you guys. So just comment down below what the weather is like where you live. We have an impending, I don't know if it's a hurricane or a tropical storm, Elsa that's supposed to be hitting here soon in New Jersey. So the weather is not very nice here. So comment how the weather is where you live. I would love to hear and just wait for me to get in contact with you and I'll pick one of you and send this out to you. So the new elf putty primer was not part of the new electric mood collection, but this is the electric mood collection. I kept the packaging to show you guys because I was like, this stuff is so cute. I love the packaging. There is a primer as part of this collection. It's the illuminating elixir priming serum, super cute little bottle. And then it just has one of these little droppers. So it's a very like glowy serum to the skin. So I'm just going to get some in here and then put some on the skin. You don't really need a lot of this as I just put a whole big glob. I pressed that too hard. <laughs> All right, let's separate this out. It has a nice little scent to it. It's like a coconut kind of scent. You guys know I definitely prefer unscented when it comes to complexion products, but this is definitely a light scent, so I don't mind. I'm just gonna use a little beauty sponge. We have a new beauty sponge to test out, but I'm gonna save that for foundation just to blend this out. That's how I like to blend out like glowy products like this. I find a better application with sponges versus your fingers, but it just gives a really pretty natural glow to the skin. You could wear this alone or underneath your foundation like we're gonna do today just to really amp up that glowiness. It reminds me a lot of Max Strobe Cream, which used to be really popular like back in the day of OG YouTube and just makes this thin glow without putting like actual glitter on your face, which obviously we don't want. Okay, now I want to test out this new little sponge. So this is the Electric Mood Brush and Sponge Set. So you get three different brushes and a sponge. These I haven't tested yet because I don't want to get them all dirty and stuff, but the sponge is different shaped. It's like a little triangle situation. So I'm going to go dampen this because it's pretty small. All right. So I just went and dampened it. It feels nice and soft. Definitely got bigger, but it's still not a overly large sponge. Like it's definitely on the smaller side. This one's smaller, but could be good to get really into like those little crevices, especially when you do concealer and stuff. For foundation, there is no new elf like complexion products. So I'm just going to go in with, this is the Tarte, the new Amazonian clay. I've been obsessed with this foundation. It's really, really nice. I'm just going to pop this on real quick. So we have a base down before we go in and test the new putty bronzers and stuff. And there's also cream blushes. There's a lot, a lot of newness. And I'm just using the flattened side of this to blend this out. And it's actually super easy and is blending the foundation out really easily. The coverage this foundation gives is like crazy, but it's light on the skin. So that's why I've really been enjoying it. And you guys can use code Kelly for 15% off of Tarte's products if you wanna try this foundation. And it paired with this sponge works really nicely. Like this sponge blended it out really easily. It looks good. Gonna pop in with a little of the e.l.f. camo concealer. 
just to conceal underneath the eyes. And then I promise we're gonna go in with more new products and I'm gonna use a little pointier side of this to blend the concealer out. I actually like that this is small because it is more precise than like when a sponge is really big. Like I feel like really big sponges are fine for your all over foundation and complexion products, but when you want your concealer to stay in like a specific place, small little sponges like this are great. Alrighty, got that all blended out. Now we are gonna jump in with the new putty bronzers. So these come in a bunch of different shades. I I use the lightest one, I believe, which is shade Tan Lines. I'm pretty sure this one's the lightest. And this is so good. It's very natural, very beautiful. It reminds me a lot of their putty blushes, which you guys know I love. I'm gonna use this little brush right here. It says it's a stippling brush and can be used for cream bronzer. Normally, I wouldn't use a brush that looks like this for my cream bronzer, but I figured we could test it out. If not, I can just use the brush that I've been using with it, but I'm just gonna get some on my brush here and then go in and kind of stipple it in the contour area and bring it upwards just to warm up that cheek. Oh, this actually applies this really well. Hmm, that's so weird. Cause normally I use like domed brushes that are like much more dense than this brush is. This is a really fluffy brush to do like my cream contour and stuff, but this is working nicely. But the new putty bronzers just blend really well into the skin, which I really like, and just look really natural and help to just contour out and shape the face. I'm gonna do a little bit down on the chin as well, and a little bit on the forehead. Okay, I'm looking on the website right now and there actually is one shade that is lighter than this, but in total there are, how many shades? Eight different shades and they retail for $6. I think they're worth every penny. I really, really enjoy these. Okay, now for cream blush, you guys know I love the putty blushes, but they have a new little cream palette as part of the Electric Mood Collection. This is called the De La Soul Cream Face Quad. So basically in here you get two blushes, a highlight and a bronzer. So obviously we've already bronzed with the putty bronzers, but we can use the blushes and the highlights. So I'm kind of weird and I actually like to use the brush that they make for this is the putty primer applicator. So technically you're supposed to use this with the primers because they have this little scoop here and then you can like, you know, tap it in. But I always just use my fingers for that. So I actually like to use this brush for cream blush because it's not too big and I feel like it fits the cheek like well. So I'm going to go with the peachy shade on one side. These can be blended with your fingers too if you'd like and tap this in. These are very pigmented so you don't need a lot of it to really make your cheeks pop. I think they're honestly a little bit more pigmented than the putty blushes are. The putty blushes are a little more natural where these are more like a pop of color on your cheeks. So it kind of depends on your personal preference, but I love this coral shade. I think it's so pretty. And then there's a deeper kind of rose shade. So I'm just gonna use the same brush and tap that on this side so you guys can see. Once applied to the skin, they don't look that different. Like, let me know what you guys think, but the peachy one is obviously a little more peach, a little lighter, and then this one's like a dusty kind of rose color, but they both look really pretty and flattering on the skin. Okay, now we're gonna go with a highlight. This is more like almost like a face glow gloss sort of thing. You guys will see when I apply it on. It's not like a shimmery highlight. It just gives you a glow. And it's definitely very subtle. So while the cream blushes are super pigmented, I would say the highlight is definitely more on the subtle side. You guys know I love to just like glow to the moon, but obviously not everybody wants that. <laughs> and so if you like a more subtle highlight, like a little natural glow, this would be perfect for you. And I'm just gonna put a little on my nose too. This I just like to apply again with my finger to just morph it into the skin. And what I like is that even though it's a face gloss and a cream product, it doesn't pick up your foundation underneath, especially when applied with a finger, it just glides over the skin because some face glosses can pick up the foundation then you have this like weird stripe, which you're not gonna get with this. All right, now this next product I'm a little nervous about. Not sure how I feel about this. This is the e.l.f. Electric Mood Disco Glitz Brow and Eye Kit. So I have not tried this yet because I was like, this I need to try on camera, like do a first impressions because it's gonna be interesting. It's basically supposed to give you really fluffy brows, which I love, I'm all for that, but then there's like a glitter that you put in your brows, which I'm like, mm. not sure how I feel about that, but we're gonna test it out together and see how it looks. So you get three different products. The first is a clear brow gel. Oh, this is like actually moving around in here. So it's almost like a soap, like soap brows. You get a little brush to apply it and then you get the glitter that you can apply after you use. Oh, the glitter's like a, it's not a loose glitter. It's like a gel. So that's interesting. I thought it was gonna be a loose glitter and I felt like there would be a lot of fallout. So that's actually not that bad. So use the spoolie side of the brush on this little soap brow gel situation. I've actually never done soap brows before, but I have been liking clear brow gel. Am I supposed to like wet this? I feel like maybe I am. I'm picking my brows up on its own, but I feel like, cause I know with other ones that I've tried, you're supposed to wet it. So I'm gonna wet this, just a spoolie, and then put it in here <laughs> and then brush them up. Okay, yeah, I think this is working a little better once it's a little damp. Ooh, those actually look pretty good. I'm like, ooh, because this bushy brow trend is not that easy because I definitely over-tweeze my brows when I was younger, so I feel like my brows never really grow all that much, 
and now everyone wants them to look all nice and fluffy and I'm like not really working with much but this is actually picking them up pretty well and placing them which I like definitely add the water though that helps and it makes the product like more emollient I don't know if that's the right word but <laughs> that's the word I'm using to set the brows in place like I feel like my brows look really good and there's no color or anything even on them like I didn't go in with like a pencil or anything but I feel like they look good on their own so this I like I pretty much already know I'm not gonna like this glitter but I feel like I have to try it for you guys because obviously that's what the point of this is so this is the glitter I'm gonna apply it there is a little brush side on the other side of the spoolie that says you can apply the glitter with or it says you can use your finger for a more diffused look so I'll do one brow each way I'm just gonna go in with a tiny little bit of this glitter to start and see how this works and just put it through oh my gosh actually I mean am I gonna be doing this every day no but does this actually kind of look cool yes and this whole collection is in collaboration with music artists as well as makeup lovers and so I feel like for like a concert or something like this could be really cute obviously I'm not gonna do this to my brows every single day but the other soap brow products I would totally use on my brows like all the time and then when you want to add a little glitter you can see for today's look we lack the glitter on the cheeks with the highlight but we we gained it in our brows y'all <laughs> let me know what you think on the glitter brows but the soap brows I am here for I definitely really liked that alrighty up next we're gonna jump into the eyes and there is a palette for this collection which I love if you guys watched my boxycharm video I uploaded a couple days ago my eye look in that was with this palette and I got so many people like what did you use on your eyes so it was this palette it's so beautiful I love it there's a nice mix of mattes shimmers bright pops of color and neutrals the look that I had in my box charm video was very neutral but still really really pretty and you get 18 different shades in this palette which is really nice they did come out with shadow crayons though which these I have not tried yet so we're gonna use these first and then we'll go in with the eyeshadow palette that I already know that I really love but I want to make sure I try as many products as possible for you guys okay so there's a lighter shade which is called spotlight and then a darker shade which is called bambolina so I'm gonna do the lighter oh they're like shimmer sticks Oh, these are really pretty. Okay, I didn't realize that they were like shimmery. So that's the lighter one. And then I'll do the deeper one right next to it. Oh, wow. These are actually really, really beautiful. Now I'm like, should we do the eyeshadow first? I feel like I'm going to use these as a base and then we'll build the eyeshadow on top of them. So I'm going to go in with the lighter shimmer. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can really see. Okay, I'm going to go in with spotlight first and put this in the inner corner. This would be so pretty if you're just doing like a really natural kind of makeup day and you just want to do like a little wash of color on the lid. Something that gives you a little sparkle. This would be really pretty because the color is almost the same as like the color of my lid, but it adds that sparkle kind of factor. And then if you wanted to amp it up a little bit, like for nighttime or something, you can go in with Bambolina, which is the deeper shade and apply this to the outer corner. And then I'm just going to blend with my finger. Oh wow. These actually blend really easily too which is nice like it just gives a very natural kind of look to the eyes and very soft the eyeshadows are definitely like more pigmented boom you know definitely you're wearing eyeshadow where these just give a nice soft look to the lid so there's options for everybody depending on what you like but normally I'm not the biggest fan of shadow sticks but these are actually really pretty and blended really easy but still look like natural okay I'm gonna set my lids with the tiniest little bit of translucent powder before we go in with eyeshadow, just so we don't get any creasing or cracking. So I'm just gonna tap that on real quick and then we can go test out some of the shadows. Okay, so with this palette, I feel like there's a bunch of different kind of looks that you can create. I just did like an orange and blue look in one of my last testing new products videos. So I don't wanna do that again. So I think I might do like the top of my eyes, like how I did it in my box trim video so you guys can see that. And then maybe do like a purple or something on the lower lash line. We'll see how we feel when we get there. But I'm gonna grab into this big fluffy brush. There are two more eye brushes in here. So there's a big fluffy one and then a smaller little dense one So I'm gonna use the big fluffy one first and go in with shade latte and I'm gonna buff that into the crease There is not a um, mirror in this eyeshadow palette So I'm just grabbing another mirror and I'm gonna buff this into the crease and upper crease this brush is super fluffy So I like that. You know what the problem is when you use face glosses is then when you do your eyeshadow Your eyeshadow can get like stuck in it, which is exactly what's happening right now So I'm kind of just like dusting it off but that can be avoided if you do your eyes first, complexion after. So I probably should have done that, but I didn't think of it. But just a little tip, anything that's like cream on the face will like collect extra eyeshadow fallout and residue. So if you don't plan on setting it, like we didn't set it today, it's probably best to do the eyes first. So don't do as I do, do as I say, I guess. Isn't that the saying? <laughs> then I'm gonna jump in with braided tresses. This is more of a warm tone shade and I'm gonna bring that into the crease as well to start to warm it up. You don't need a lot of these colors. They're really pigmented. So I'll normally like dip my brush in 
and then brush off the excess just so you don't have too much. Going on to the eye. Then I'm gonna jump in with this smaller little denser brush and I'm gonna jump into Ya yeah, Bright, which is right here. This one is a little bit of a shimmer. And I'm gonna tap that in the outer corner and outer crease area. This actually layers really nice on top of the shadow stick that we applied out there already. They like complement each other well, the shades. And this helps to just like amp it up a little bit. Like if you wanted to do shadow sticks for a daytime look and then you know at night go in and add eyeshadow, that's a easy way to change up your look while not having to like completely redo your makeup. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Pound. This is one of my favorite, probably my favorite shade in the palette. It's like an orange, but it's a duochrome, so it almost shows up like a yellowish green, depending on how the light hits it. It's really cool. And I'm gonna pack that on the lid. It's super, super pigmented. Like, how pretty is that? And really makes the eye pop. Definitely my fave in the palette. Yes, ma'am. We are glistening. We are glowing. We got glitter brows, glitter eyes, a little bit of everything today. I wish there was a green in this palette and then I could do like a green on the lower lash line. I feel like that would like tie in well with the kind of greenish yellow of this eyeshadow. I feel like I told you guys in one of my last videos, I have a hard time deciphering between yellow and green. I kind of see them as like the same color. <laughs> so this, I'm like, is it orangey green or orangey yellow? I don't really know. There is a matte yellow in the palette. So I might actually jump in with that in the inner corner and we'll see how that kind of looks. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Just tapping that in there. I didn't do that part in the look I had in the box trim video, but I figured it was basically just what I already have on my eyes right now is all I did. So if you're looking at all that swirl, that's pretty much it. But I want to use more of these colors. So there's this shade here, which is Shy Time. It's like a pinky kind of glitter, like a pinky peach almost. So I'm going to go in with that same brush we just applied the yellow and apply a little bit of that over top just so we have a little shimmer in there to make it pop. And I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna apply to beneath the brow bone as well. I feel like I could probably get away with adding a little bit of purple on this crease. So I think I'm gonna do that. This is the shade Summer Fruit right here. You guys know normally when I do reviews like this or if you're new to my channel, I try and use as many colors from the palette that I can. So you can feel free to tailor it to however you want if you don't wanna add purple. You know, it's definitely not necessary. Like the eye look is pretty how it is, but I like to try and apply as many shades to my eyes as I can. And this purple actually is blending in really nicely with the brown because it's like a deeper purple. So it looks really nice and adds that pretty warmth and dimension. Then I'm gonna go in the shade Browning, which this is the deepest shade in the palette. This is a dark matte brown, and I'm gonna just apply it onto the outer corner and kind of wing it upwards, and then bring it onto the lower lash line, but not all the way, about halfway, and just connect out that wing. Blend that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna go in with Peach Champagne, which is like a pretty shimmery, peachy shade. And I'm gonna buff that on the lower lash line to add some glitter on there and just blend everything together. This is a really pretty like summery kind of look. I'm telling you that all over the lid shimmer just makes it though. Like that is literally the prettiest shadow. I'm obsessed. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna go pop some lashes on real quick and I'll be right back. All right, eyes are done. I just popped on some half lashes. I feel like if you take away the brows, the brows throw me off a little bit with the glitter. It's really pretty like summery makeup look with a little pop of yellow, some bronzes. Like I really like it, but definitely eyeshadow first, then face gloss because this side, for some reason this side is fine, but this side definitely has some eyeshadow pigment in the face gloss, but we're rolling with it. Now we're gonna move on to lips. So there's a little lip duo. So this is like a little lip kit. It's a liner and then a gloss. So when I first used this, I was like, oh my gosh, because the gloss and the liner are very different colors. The liner is like a really deep brown. I'm gonna apply it and show you guys. At first, I literally looked at this and was like, wait, is this an eyeliner? But it's a lip liner. And then I found a really great way to use it. So what I like to do with this is apply it on the lips, like outline them like you normally would. And then towards the outer corners, I kind of feathered it in a little bit like this. And you can do this haphazardly because we're gonna blend. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Then you can grab the sheer stick from the collection. I'm gonna use the one obviously from the collection, but you can use any lip balm lipstick that you want. I'm gonna apply this to the center of the lips and then blend it outwards into the liner. And then I just use my finger to blend everything together. And it gives a really pretty effect to the lips. And when I originally tried this, I used like a nude lipstick, like a lighter brown. And it looks really, really pretty, but I actually like the way that it looks with the red too. And it kind of gives almost an ombre effect to the lips. Now there is a lip gloss as part of this little duo too. This is like clear, but the glitter gives it like a purpley kind of bluish sheen and the glitter kind of matches the brows so it pulls it all together. I would normally probably pair this eye look with like a nude lippy, but of course I wanna test the products in the collection for you guys so you can see how everything works and if you wanna get anything. So that is all of the new stuff, you guys. Definitely let me know down below what your thoughts are. I would say my favorites from the collection are the palette. I really, really love. Love the putty bronzers and the cream cheek palette as well. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll have links to everything down below if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon soon in my next video. Bye.